I'm Dr. Smith, and this is our technique for the laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. First, we need to take down the blood supply to the lateral edge of the stomach. We start by measuring 6 centimeters from the pyloric valve along the lateral edge of the stomach and making a mark with a harmonic scalpel. We can then find this spot later. We then start taking down the greater curvature attachments, which are the large blood vessels that feed the stomach laterally. This instrument does a very good job of controlling these blood vessels without bleeding. We take down these blood vessels from the pyloric valve all the way up to the very top of the stomach so that this part of the stomach, this lateral part of the stomach, can be resected. We also take down some of the attachments that hide underneath the stomach so that we can be sure we're exposing the entire stomach. We also want to be sure there's not a hiatal hernia, and if there is, we'll reduce that at this point in the procedure. Next, we move on to the actual gastrectomy portion of the procedure. We use staplers to put down three rows of titanium staples on each side and then cut in between. We position the stapler and then fire the stapler. We start at the lower part of the stomach where we made our mark, and then we travel up along the stomach up to the top of the stomach. What you see to the right of the stapler in the screen will be coming out. What you see to the left of the stapler will be staying in. With the stapler removed, you can see how the staples have been laid down on each side and the stapler has cut between those rows of staples. I now put clips on the staple line for added security and to control oozing along the staple line. I'll now use another stapler cartridge and travel up along the stomach, creating a narrow tube for the remaining stomach. As we create this narrow tubular stomach, you can appreciate how this smaller stomach will cause someone to be satisfied with a much smaller amount of food. In fact, these patients eat about the same amount as our Ruin Y gastric bypass patients over the first couple of months after surgery. Here we're repositioning the liver retractor so that we can get it out of the way and get up to the top of the stomach. If someone has a very large fatty liver, this can be a very difficult place to reach in a morbidly obese person. We now continue with the gastric resection, moving up toward the very top of the stomach. We're nearly at the top of the stomach now. You can see the spleen dead ahead. That's the organ sitting up straight in the middle of the screen. We're positioning the final few firings of the stapler so that we can complete the detachment of the stomach that's coming out off to the right from the remainder of the stomach that will be left behind that sits on the left. This will be the last firing of the stapler. Now that the resection is complete, we pull that portion of the stomach down out of the way and we bring our clip applier up to the top where we apply some more clips for added security and control of oozing from the staple line. We do this all the way down the staple line for extra security. We then add a fibrin sealant or a fibrin glue it's like an epoxy that we slather all along the staple line, which adds even more security. Once we've placed this fibrin sealant, the sleeve gastrectomy is complete. Now we can take out the portion of the stomach that's been detached. We actually pull this out through one of the incision sites where one of the ports was, and it comes out fairly easily. I'm Dr. Smith. Thanks for watching.